veganism. I'm not sure that's a real word. Maybe I just made it up, but I'll tell you about my encounter with it in just a second. My wife and I have friends who have uh, some food issues, so the only restaurant we could agree upon for a brunch was a vegan restaurant, Great Sage in Clarksville, Maryland. When I got there, I looked at the menu and thought, oh no. Everything was soy this, tofu that, no eggs, no bacon, no sausage, you know, no good stuff. So I wound up getting pancakes and fake sausage. Now, don't get me wrong. I think the food was good, in fact, quite good, just not my style. But as I said, sometimes you, you have to try new things and they don't work out. But my wife was not deterred, so she had us go on a 21-day vegan diet to try and cleanse our bodies. It was, to say the least, an interesting experience. While I didn't really like it, I do have to say, I had more energy and I also lost weight. Now, I'm not on the diet anymore, but I have changed my eating habits for the better. Which brings us to today's lesson, and I'll tell you about that in just a second. You know, when I see a person in the office who says to me, Dr. Way, my knees hurt, please help me and I look at them and they weigh 350 pounds, there's not a whole lot I can do for them until they really make a commitment to help themselves. One of the biggest health problems, no pun intended, in the United States today is obesity. And as you might guess, obesity really makes arthritis worse. To tell you how worse, every one extra pound a person has translates to five extra pounds the weight-bearing joints like the knees, the hips, and the low back see. Not good. It's absolutely critical to good arthritis care to get that weight off. I can pretty much predict which patients will do well and which ones won't by what their response is when I talk with them about diet and exercise. Those people who say, yeah, I know, I should do this and that, and don't, will not do well. And that's with 100% certainty. Those who say, okay, I'll do it, and they do really do it, wind up doing extremely well. It's a matter of commitment, habit formation, and consistency. I always tell patients I have the solution, and it's very simple, but it isn't easy. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching Arthritis Help TV. This is Dr. Nathan Way.